Let's move on to explainability now. So if we click on Model Insights, we're going to see uh, feature importance. Okay, so we can see which features contribute most to the predicted outcome. So the first one is maturity month. Okay, and these are uh, global SHAP values for the data set, as you would expect. Okay, so that's pretty intuitive, right? Uh, if you have a long credit uh, or a short credit, you know, the risk for the bank is not the same. A14, let's see what A14 is. A14 is, oh, no checking account. Okay, so if you don't have a checking account, that plays into the decision. So the intuition could be, if you don't have a checking account, then you can't write checks. <laughs> so, you know, you're not spending your money as easily, right? Probably that's it. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll zoom in on this. And loan amount, right, is pretty interesting. Of course, if you, uh, if you want to borrow a huge sum of money or a small sum of money, certainly that's important. And let's look at the other one, A61. A61 means uh, how much do you have on your savings account? Yeah, that's probably important too. Okay. So this information is also available in a report that you can, uh, you can export. It's a notebook that you see here, right? Uh, so you see the, the feature importance and you see all the metrics that we computed, right? Pre-training, post-training, okay? So that's useful. Now, what if you want to zoom in on this and, uh, and understand how individual values, uh, individual SHA values, right? SHA values for each individual data instance uh, work? Well, going back to our analysis report, we can find, and these are the metrics that we saw in studio, nothing new. Oh yeah, this is the actual imbalance in the data set. Uh, all right, more metrics. Okay, feature importance. So this is what we just saw. And we can also find in S3, right, uh, as an output for the, the analysis job, we can actually find individual SHAP values for each data instance, and we can plot them. Okay, so if you've seen this before, it makes sense. If you've never seen this before, uh, let me explain. So here we see uh, feature importance. Okay, so these are the same, right? Maturity month is the top one. Uh, A14, uh, so uh, no checking account is second. Loan amount is third, etc. Right, so top features are the most important. Bottom features are the least important. So what do those dots mean? Each dot represents the feature value for an individual data instance, okay? And the color tells us whether the, this feature value is a high value, right? Or a low value, okay? So for example, here we see maturity month, we see that all the low values, right, have a positive contribution to the predicted output, okay? So in other words, if maturity month for an individual data instance is low, so if you're applying for short-term credit, your chances of seeing your credit approved um, increase pretty pretty strongly right okay that's what those blue dots mean all these are individual uh, instances okay and we can see all the blue values increase the, their predicted uh, probability whereas the red values with a few outliers obviously all the red values decrease the probability okay so let me repeat it's not obvious if you've never seen this before, right? Uh, if individual instances have a low feature value for maturity month, right? Then the probability that the credit gets approved is increased. If 
they have a high value for maturity month, the probability that their credit is approved goes down, right? So let's look at uh, loan amount, for example. So loan amount, we see um, very high values have a negative contribution to the predicted output. Okay, so if you want to borrow tons of money, then you know probably the bank tells you no. And if you want to borrow, um, you know, smaller amount of money, you know, it's you're in a more favorable spot, right? So interestingly, we see some red dots here. So you know, maybe the bank is actually interested in loaning large sums of money because you know they have. Uh, probably higher interest rates or you know they end up making more money so maybe they they're interested here right so again we would need to zoom in and understand what those dots are but generally you can see um, having a high loan amount is rather detrimental okay so you can go on and and figure this out uh, and uh, and look at all the other features but that's in a nutshell that's uh, what shab values are right uh, we have global values that we can see here telling us which features are important for the data set, um, the global data set. And then using the uh, output in S3, we can easily plot the uh, individual feature values and see which values contribute to a more positive outcome and which values contribute to more negative outpoint, outcome. Okay. All right, well, that's about it. That's what I wanted to tell you about SageMaker Clarify. So, so summing things up, you can compute pre-training metrics on your data set. You can compute uh, post-training metrics on your model. Uh, you see all kinds of different metrics and uh, they're available in the Studio, they're available in the Notebook report, they're available in S3, of, of course, as well. Uh, you also see feature importance uh, in Studio and fetching the CSV file in S3, you can also plot individual feature values. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for SageMaker Clarify. Thank you. And I'll be back soon with more videos.